start the operations on a sets but before that let's uh, revise few concepts we have studied in the previous video so we have seen the practice 1.3 which is based on the venn diagram complement of a set subset and universal set i hope you have understood so let's revise the uh, concept of a venn diagram once again so what was a venn diagram Venn diagram was a diagrammatic representation of a set. Means you can use the any closed figure that we have seen in the previous videos. So we'll see. Suppose if I want to show the simple set A, it has the four elements. Now I want to show this using Venn diagram. So how? But if you show this set by using any closed figure, so it is a Venn diagram. So here, suppose if I use the circle. so a set you have to write inside the uh, figure and then these elements with by keeping the proper distance so this is the venn diagram of a a set now here there are two sets universal set 2 4 6 8 10 so this is a universal set and i'll consider the b set b set is a subset of a u set universal set so in this b set there are the elements of a and so how to show it this b set comes in the universal set so here this is the universal set and in this b set means 8 and 10 comes in that so here i will write b set so a and 10 elements are in b set and remain elements are in universal set that means which are the 2 4 6 now if you observe so what is the universal set what are the elements of the universal set 2 4 6 and 8 and 10 are also the elements of the universal set what is b set b set contains 8 and 10 so 8 and 10 b is a subset of u so b i have written inside the universal set let's start the operations on sets we know that whenever we study any number system we have to study the operations on it so same way in the sets also we have studied how to write the sets how to represent the sets by the venn diagram what are the different types of sets those we have studied now the time has come that we have to study the operations on sets now what is the operations on sets so first operation is the intersection of the sets what is the definition of the set the intersection of a set the definition is given on page number 11 so what is it suppose a and b there are the two sets a set and b set and a set if i consider 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the a set and there are another set that means b here 3 4 5 7 9 now these two are the two different sets but here you can if what is common thing in these two set if you observe it well then you can find here some elements are common in this so what is the intersection of a set says that the common elements from a and b those are called the intersection of a set means the definition a and b are the two sets the set of all common elements of a and b are called uh, the is called the intersection of a set intersection of a two sets it is denoted by using this sign this is a symbol to use the uh, to show the intersection of a two set so here i will write a intersection b what this operation says the set of a common element what are the common elements in this 3 4 and this 5 so these are common so 3 4 and 5 so these are the set of a common element which is known as intersection of a two set now how to write this thing by using the venn diagram so venn diagram to show the intersection is in this way now here a set and b set this part it is the intersection part that means common elements part so what is a set it a set has 1 2 3 4 5 but 3 4 5 are common those i will write in this and what is a set here 1 and 
Now you, if you observe what is A sets element? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is B sets? B sets 3, 4, 5 are the common. So I have written in this common. And left would be 7 and 9. That B sets elements are 3, 4, 5 and 7 and 9. Second example, in this I have taken the two sets, D, D set, it has these elements, E set, it has this element. Now I have to use the operation of an intersection. So I have show, I have told you what is the sign using sign, this symbol shows the intersection. So D intersection E, what is intersection says? It is the set of a common element. So common elements, what you can observe here, common element, 4 is common, so I will write here. Next, you can see 8, 8, so 8 is common. Only two elements are common. So, A, D intersection E is equal to 4 and 8. And what is the diagrammatic representation? D set and E set, D set, E set. Common elements will come in this part. So, D sets elements are 3, 9, 7, 5. So, common elements are 4 and 8 that I will write here. So, all yeah, elements of D sets are covered in this. Now, E element. So, here 4 and 8 it will come here. So, 2, 6 and 10. So, it is D intersection E 4 and 8 and it is a diagrammatic representation of so of a D intersection E. So, this it, it shows D set. This middle one it is D intersection E. This shows E set. So, I hope you have understood with the help of these two examples. You can practice it few more examples. Third example, P elements are A, E, I, O, U and Q's elements are A, B, C, A, D, E, F. I have to write the P intersection Q. What is intersection? The set of common elements. So, what is the common elements? A, A, E is common. So, these two elements are the common. So, by using diagrammatic by using Venn diagram. So, P set, Q set, A, A is common. I will write the common elements first and the left R, O, U, here B, C, D, F. So, this is my P set. This is, it shows the P intersection Q. Here it is the Q set. I hope you have understood the intersection of the sets. At the end of this video, I have asked you one question. I expect you from all that you have to give the answer in the comment box. Let's study the properties of an intersection of a sets now. We have seen the uh, how to write the intersection, how, what is the diagrammatic representation and now we will go for the properties of an intersection of sets. The properties of intersection of sets, it is given on the page number 12. Now, the first property is given A intersection P is equal to B intersection A. So, we will see this with the help of an example. They said that common elements, suppose A and B, two are sets. So, here I will take the small example 1, 2, 3 and here B set, it is given 2, 3, 4. What is A intersection B? It is a common element, set of a common element. So, set of common elements means 2 and 3. So, A intersection B is equal to 2 and 3. If I will reverse it, B intersection A. So, what it says? It is also 2 and 3. So, therefore, this is a property. That both the intersection, if you write any half, then it comes equal. Second property, here they have given... If it is A is a subset of B, that is all elements comes in B set. So, here A intersection B would be A. So, we will consider A set 1 and 3. B set, it is 1, 3, 5, 
6. So what is A intersection B? A intersection B, if you will observe, what is the common element in this? 1 and 3. That is 1 and 3, this is the element of a set A. So it equals to A. So here, second property says that if A is a subset of B, A is all elements are in B, the intersection of these, it would be A set only. And if I reverse this, suppose B is a subset of uh, A, then A intersection B, what it will come? Just give me the answer in the comment box. If A intersection B is equal to B, then B is a subset of A. We will consider the A, suppose for example, 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is a 2, 3. So, if A intersection B, of course it will come B only. Just see, what is the common elements in this? What is the intersection? 2 and 3, that means B only. So, if A intersection B is equal to B, I have proved it. So, B, is it a subset of A? Yes, of course, B would be the subset of A. Fourth property, here, A intersection B is a subset of A. Means if I take the common elements and of course it would be the subset of A and then A intersection B, it is also a subset of B. For example, A is equal to 2, 3, 4, B is equal to 1, 3, 4. So what is the subset of these two? Sorry, intersection A intersection B. What is A intersection B? What is the common uh, elements 3 and 4? So, this ask you, they said that if it is the intersection, the intersection part, it is always the subset part of this A set also, it is a part of B set also. So, of course, A intersection, this property proves me, A intersection B would be, will become a subset of A also and this also will become a subset of B. Means all elements of these 3 and 4 are in A, all elements of these are in B. That means what is the subset definition? If you want to revise it again, so the link I have given in the description box, so you can go through it. A complements A and A complements their intersection, they said that phi set. For example, we will consider the universal. Now, if I want to find out A complement, I have to find out the universal set. Suppose A universal set, sorry, universal set is 1, 2, 3, 4, a set is 3, 4. A is a subset of universal set. So what is A complement? What is the definition of A complement? If you want to revise it again, this the definition of A complement, again go and check in the description box the link for this and you can watch this video. A complement means the element which are not present in A but they are in universal set. So, which are not present in this and they are in this. So, 1, 2 and then 5. And if you take the A complement and A, their intersection. In what is intersection? It says the set of common elements. So, can you get the common elements? Observe it. A and A complement you won't have the common element. That means it is a null set which is denoted by 5. So, this is the property number fifth. Sixth property, sixth property is A, in sub intersection of A, it is A. I hope you, you can understand this property. A intersection of A, of course you will get the A. You can try it with the help of a example. Then seventh property is say that A intersection of a phi. A intersection phi. Phi means no elements. It doesn't have any elements. A will have some element. For example, a, 2, 3. What is phi set? It is a null set. It doesn't have elements. And if you take the intersection, of course you won't get any elements. So, A intersection phi is equal to phi. So, in this way, we have studied the first operation of the uh, set. That means the intersection of a two sets. What is the intersection of a two sets? Once again, we will revise it. The intersection of A and B. Of any two sets means it is the set of common elements which are present in those sets. So in this way we have studied the intersection of a set and its properties of intersection of 
sets. I hope you have understood this operation of the intersection of a set.